Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. So today I'm going to talk about catch cans. Um, I installed two Mac One catch can, and I've also got the GT 350 installed as well. So um, I went on a road trip recently. If you see my last video, and that was up to the 60th anniversary of the Mustang in Madrid. Um, that was a seven-hour drive each way. Plus, I did a lot of driving there as well. Um, I did an oil change before I went, but I didn't touch the catch cans. Okay, I cleaned them on the first oil change, but I haven't done them since then. So, so I'm going to give them a, a clean now. I thought you might like to take a look, see how much oil's accumulated in 4,000 kilometers, I would say, I've done. So we can take a look together, see the driver's side and the passenger side, see whether it's worth fitting the other one uh, from the GT350. I did it anyway. Um, to be honest, it, if it doesn't have anything in it, great. If it does, then it's caught it and it hasn't gone in my engine. I don't see a downside to fitting it, apart from it's going to cost money, obviously. They're both Ford Performance parts. I haven't used uh, aftermarket. I, I like to stick with Ford Performance. But let's take a look and see what's in there. If you've watched my previous videos, you, you know that I installed the, the Mac one catch can here. And over there, I've got the GT350 installed on the driver's side. Um, yet to see whether that's got anything in it. I know this probably will, but I don't know what's in it. Um, so let's let's check it out. Okay, I'm gonna start by putting some cloths underneath this because these tiny screws can fall out. And if they go down into the belly pan that runs underneath the engine, they're gone. Until the next oil change anyway. So that's the screws out. So I'm gonna lift this up now and I'll get you in there to have a look and see, see what's actually in here. You can see what I can see now. You can see in there, there's an oil in the bottom of there. So that's a that's what my catch cans accumulated from the time of about four, four or five thousand kilometers in distance. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try and get my finger in there and see how much is in there. We can see that, that's, there's a fair amount in there. Look at that. I think there's about a centimeter of oil in there. That would have gone straight into the uh, intake, all through the inlet, uh, into the combustion chamber, obviously. I'm happy that that is in there and not in my engine. Right, let's give it a clean, get this oil out of here. I'm using a white cloth so you can see uh, how much oil comes out of here. I'll be interested to see myself. Just let that soak up for a second. There you go, that's the first clean. And you can see what's come out of there. And there's still a good load in there yet, so let's get the rest of that out. That's almost all of it out now. So you can see there's a fair bit come out of there. That rag's soaked up loads of it. And I'm so pleased that it hasn't gone into the engine of the car. Right, that's all cleaned out in there now. See, there's a few little bits of residue, I've just picked them up. But uh, yeah, so if anybody's wondering whether it's worth having a whether it's worth having a catch can, that's your answer. Don't really know why it wasn't fitted as standard, but I'm really pleased I did install that, and as you can see, it's well worth it. So that's the first catch can done, okay, passenger side. Let's check out this one now and see what's in here. Right, the screws are out, and you can see I put the cloths underneath as well on here, just in case. So let's see. If anything's accumulated in this, this is the driver's side GT350. Take this mesh off. Have a look in there. Nothing. Pretty much bone dry. So that's may have answered your question as to whether you need it. I don't track this car. I only rode it, although I did, and you'll see in my last video, I went drag racing. Um, but there's nothing in there. There was obviously a, a centimeter in that in that side. We can put the cover back on and finish up. So hopefully that's answered the question for you. I can't see a downside to fitting this. People say you don't need to fit it. If it wasn't fitted, we'd go straight into the inlet, coat the inlet in oil, get into the engine, and what's the point in having that one then? So even if there's nothing in it, I think it's a worthwhile exercise. The only downside is you've got a few hundred dollars to, to buy it, that's all. Um, I'm happy that I fitted it and I'm really happy that there's nothing in it. So, good news. Hi guys, okay, that brings me to the end of this video. It's nice for me to know that um, people are watching and it's worthwhile me doing this. I think I've gone over 200 subscribers now, which is uh, fantastic, even though it's, uh, I've always said it's not what I'm doing it for. It's just nice to know that people are interested in what I'm doing. And I think this is the only actual handling pack version of the Mustang I've ever seen in Spain out here. I know there's probably a few converted in, in England, uh, and maybe in other countries, but in Spain here, I've never seen another one. Not with all the parts I've added to it. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, really appreciate the, uh, the views and the comments. Till the next time, guys, thanks a lot.